Chinese are going to come to Copenhagen with their plan that's been laid out already by President Hu. And what's going to be most important is as they're trying to pressure the U.S. and other developed countries is to recognize that China has its own specific role in these negotiations. It is neither a developed nor simply a developing country. And so China is going to need to take more of a leadership role than other developing countries, but it doesn't have quite the same role as an industrialized one. It's sort of in a middle bracket. Um, and the, the key, I think, that every country is going to have to focus on is that we can't declare Copenhagen a failure if we don't come up with a global deal there. Uh, the likelihood of a global deal right now is, is slim, but the issues are very challenging. So we need to try to come up with something from Copenhagen, a framework or something else that's going to allow us to move to the next stage of working on these issues while every country focuses on dealing with climate change in its own borders. Um, so that means that China needs to continue working as hard as it can to help reduce carbon emissions around its country, and the U.S. needs to do the same uh, as well as the other countries around the world while we're coming up with a political solution to this problem.